Hey class, I'm Mr Thornton and I'm here to help you get a C in your GCSE. This lesson, Velocity Time Graphs. And a word of warning before you watch this, you really should watch the lessons on distance time graphs and on acceleration before you actually go through this particular lesson. Otherwise things are going to get fairly confusing fairly quickly. Now exam boards do seem to enjoy checking whether or not you're paying attention. Distance time graphs and velocity time graphs look remarkably similar. But what you need to look out for is that vertical axis. If it's a distance time graph, it'll say distance. But if it's a velocity time graph, it will say velocity. The rules are a bit different for a velocity time graph. So try and stay alert for that. Expect them to throw one of these at you and not really highlight that it's a velocity time graph. They're checking to see whether you're paying attention or not. So as we've seen when we talked about acceleration, a changing velocity is an acceleration. It works in a kind of similar way to distance time graphs. So if you've got a slope with a positive gradient like that, that is a slope that's going up over time, then that is something which is accelerating. Notice your velocity isn't necessarily going to start from zero. So this object has started with some sort of positive velocity already. It's already moving forward when we start the clock. This is an object which isn't accelerating as quickly as this one. So again, kind of similar to distance time graphs, but not quite the same, okay? This is an object accelerating faster than this object, or accelerating, a better way to put that, accelerating at a higher rate there than it does just here. Okay, so it accelerates at a high rate, then it accelerates at a low rate. A horizontal line, which you probably guess is coming next, that is an object which is maintaining its velocity. It is not speeding up, it's not going faster, it's not slowing down either. So this is an object which is still moving forwards. This is not an object which has stopped. Let me say that again. This is an object which is still moving forwards. It still has positive constant velocity. And finally, our object hits the brakes and it slows down. Its velocity drops back to zero again. So this is an object which is decelerating. Now the same is with distance time graphs where this was a positive gradient and this was a positive gradient and this was zero gradient. This is what we call a negative gradient. So if something's decelerating, you work it out exactly the same as acceleration. How much has that velocity changed by? You just stick a minus in front of it. Remember, if something's reversing or decelerating, stick a minus in front of your answer, but otherwise you work them out exactly the same. Let me run through those examples again, just so you get a bit more familiar with it. So this first one, we've got a positive gradient. This is an object accelerating. The next one, We've got a steeper positive gradient, so this is an object accelerating at a greater rate. The third one, the velocity isn't changing. This object is not accelerating, but note that it is still moving forwards. It still has some sort of constant positive velocity. And finally, this negative gradient here, this is an object decelerating, it's slowing down, and eventually it comes to a rest when its velocity is zero. And the good news again on this, to get that C, you don't need to calculate those gradients. You aren't going to need to work anything out. To get the higher grades, you'd need to be able to work out those gradients. But to get your C, you don't need to worry about that. So that's all you need to know about velocity time graphs. You need to be able to describe what this object is doing, but you don't need to put any numbers on it. You don't need to calculate gradients. You don't need to calculate how far it's gone. You just need to be able to describe what's going on. Good luck in your GCSEs everyone, and remember if this video was useful to you, like it, share it, and you can subscribe for more all below.